the first Noel, the angel did say, was to certain poor shepherds in fields as they lay in fields where they lay keeping their sheep on a cold winter's night that was so deep oh well no well no With one accord, sing praises to our heavenly Lord that hath made heaven and earth of night. Amen. Well, Merry Christmas, everyone. Let's all stand together. Lord, we love you. We praise you. We are excited to worship you, to celebrate the fact that you were born to us in a manger. Lord, thank you, Jesus, that you came for us so that we could live forever with you. We rejoice in you today. In Jesus' name, and everyone said, amen. Come on, let's worship the Lord together.
Jesus lay down in his sweet head. The stars in the bright sky looked down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep on the hay.
worship you, Jesus. The strong Son of God. Jesus, you came to this earth over 2,000 years ago, born in a manger, took upon yourself humanity, lived a sinless life for 33 years, died on a cross, rose again on the third day so that we could have life forevermore. Jesus, you took what we deserved. You took the death that we deserved and gave us eternal life. And this Christmas, Lord, we celebrate you, Jesus. We celebrate the fact that we've received the greatest gift of all, and that is you, our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. We love you, we praise you, in Jesus' name, amen, amen. I want us to read this together. And it came to pass in those days that a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. The census first took place while Quirinius was governing Syria. So all went to be registered, everyone to his own city. Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David to be registered with Mary, his betrothed wife, who was with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were completed for her to be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling cloths and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Now there were in the same country shepherds living out in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them and the glory of the Lord shone around them and they were greatly afraid. Then the angel said to them, do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David, a savior who is Christ the Lord. Amen. And this will be the sign to you, you will find a babe wrapped in swaddling cloths, lying in a manger, and suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, and let's say this together, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. Lord, we love you, we praise you, we thank you that this is a joyous day because you were born to us so that we could be forever with you. We love you in Jesus' name and all of God's children say, amen. Amen, well, we have a great, great service ahead. We have Jenna Rain with us today. We have Kane, Dave Barnes, Michelle Williams, and our very own Rebecca Hart singing Oh Holy Night. But before that, why don't you turn around, greet one another, let someone know you're glad to see them. Merry Christmas. Welcome to our candlelight services. We're so glad you're here. At Gateway, we're all about people because God is all about people. We have so many ways for you to get connected to ministry and each other. Here's some great places to start. To stay up to date with all that's going on, visit gatewaypeople.com. If you'd like to join us in what God is doing in and through Gateway, you can give on our website, our mobile app, or in any of the offering boxes at any of our campuses. There's so many ways you can discover community at Gateway. You can join a group, attend an equipped class, or serve on our build team. To learn more, meet us at Connect Central. Text CONNECT to 71010 or visit gatewaypeople.com. To stay connected with the Gateway family throughout the week, follow us on social media and join our campus Facebook group. We're so glad you joined us. Thanks for being here today. This is my favorite week of the year at Gateway Church because this is our conference. This is for us as a church to come together, to be in the presence of God, 
to hear these anointed men and women of God speak. I can't explain to you how important it is that we gather just once a year and give the first of our year to God. Hey, everyone. As you can see, we are coming up on our first conference. And really, it's when we give the first of our year to the Lord. And I have been so praying about this and so burdened about us as a congregation giving the first of our lives to Jesus Christ every year like this. And so I was reminded of an article that I found years ago. So I actually wanna read you that article. I think you'll find this interesting. A young boy by the name of James had a desire to be the most famous manufacturer and salesman of cheese in the world. He planned on becoming rich and famous by making and selling cheese, and he began with a little buggy pulled by a pony named Patty. After making his cheese, he would load his wagon and he and Patty would drive down the streets of Chicago to sell the cheese. As the months passed, the young boy began to despair because he was not making any money in spite of his long hours and hard work. So one day he pulled his pony to a stop and he began to talk to him. He said, Patty, there's something wrong. We're not doing it right. I'm afraid we have things turned around and our priorities are not where they ought to be. Maybe we ought to serve God and place him first in our lives. The boy drove home and made a covenant that for the rest of his life, he would serve God first and then work as God directed. Many years after this, the young boy, now a man, stood as Sunday school superintendent at North Shore Baptist Church in Chicago. And he said, I would rather be a layman in the North Shore Baptist Church than to head the greatest corporation in America. My first job is serving Jesus. So, every time you take a bite of Philadelphia cream cheese, sip a cup of Maxwell House, mix a quart of Kool-Aid, slice up a DiGiorno pizza, cook a pot of macaroni and cheese, spread some gray poupon, stir a bowl of cream of wheat, slurp down some jello, eat the cream out of the middle of an Oreo cookie, or serve some stovetop. Remember a boy, his pony named Patty, and the promise that James L. Kraft made to serve God first and work as he directed. That's what I want us to do. I want to ask you to join us in our fast. We'll begin this year, January the 14th, that weekend. I'll be back in the pulpit beginning a new series, and we'll fast and pray for 21 days. And I want you just to fast however the Lord leads you. And I mean, even if the Lord leads you to start on January the 1st, like I do, I like to start on the first day of the year. Does it matter about that? Just 21 days of prayer and fasting and seeking God. But I really have a burden and a desire that every person at Gateway Church be able to attend the first conference, whether in person, are online, but attend the first conference. God called Israel to come together three times a year. He knew there was something that happened when we come together. He knows that, and so he calls us to that. So as your pastor, I'm asking you to put God first, serve God first, and make sure if you can, attend the first conference. Hey, I love you so much, and Merry Christmas. I'm so excited to be here at Gateway this Christmas. Would you stand up on your feet with me? Yeah. Hey, all the mistletoe. Fun.
How are y'all doing? Everybody good? This, uh, y'all can sit down. I know that I could feel the pressure, but it's like, bring it. I'm not, this is not a bring it song. Um, <laughs> I have to tell you this, uh, first of all, this Christmas is one of my favorite songs. I've, I've, I have a few Christmas records myself and I've recorded it. It doesn't sound near that good, but it's my version of it. But this week, <laughs> true story, this week, um, that song came on the radio and my kids know my version of it. So my son says, dad, listen to how well they're singing your song. And I was like, oh, uh, I, I didn't. He's like, you wrote that, right? I was like, I wanted to lie because I'd have looked really cool, but I didn't. And this is a church, so I'm not gonna lie tonight either. Um, but uh, I had to break the news to him. Uh, I thought, son, if we had, if I had written that song, we'd be living in a yacht copter above the <laughs> this Mediterranean somewhere. Um, this, uh, this also, sadly, is not a song. I did not write this song, um, but I love this song, and uh, I love singing it. But um, this is a song called It's the Most Wonderful Time of the Year. It's the most wonderful time of the year With the kids jingle belling And everyone telling you be of good cheer it's the most wonderful time of the year It's the ha happiest season of all With those kids jingle belling And everyone telling you be of good cheer It's the ha happiest season of all Marshmallows for toasting and caroling out in the snow. There'll be scary ghost stories and tales. The glories of Christmas is long ago. It's the most wonderful time of the year. There'll be much mistletoe and then hearts will be glowing when young ones are near.
caroling out in the snow. There'll be scary ghost stories and tales, the glories of Christmas is long ago. It's the most wonderful time of the year. There'll be much mistletoe and hearts will be growing when loved ones are near. It's the most wonderful time. Thank you. Uh, so, I have to admit, um, I looked up there and I saw the, that's me. <laughs> and I remembered uh, the first service that I, I had to remember to suck my gut in because I, I wasn't wearing a guitar. Um, and <laughs> no, I did, I was like, strength and course, uh, uh, not ignore the core. That's, that was my workout regimen for years, sadly. Um, but engage the core because, true story, I was, I was shooting a music video years ago on this beach in Malibu uh, in, in LA and uh, my wife was on the shoot and so they're doing the thing and there's no audio, you know, you're just kind of fake singing along and, and I had like a t-shirt on and, and pants too, but uh, just <laughs> people feel like I need to clarify that. And so I was, <laughs> I was walking and my, they, the, the director yells cut and he's kind of like, hey Dave, and I walk over and he's like, hey, um, so your wife wanted to tell you something. And I was like, okay. And she's like, you got to suck in. You just need to suck in. And I was like, and she said the shirt, the wind is blowing and it's just not a good look. So you need to remember to suck in. And, uh, and isn't it weird? That's why I love her. Isn't that why we love our spouses? Because they tell us hard things. And so I have mild trauma whenever I don't have my guitar now. I just sort of relive that moment over and over um, until you saw it real time. So sorry if, if, that, uh, if that was uh, something you had experienced. Um, this, is, uh, this next song is one of my favorite Christmas songs, um, and I love singing it, uh, so you might know it. Don't tell it all.
Keep it going for Mr. Dave Barnes one time. Hi, everyone. Hi. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I wanted to introduce us. We are the Kane family. Yay! Hi. Some of you may have come here tonight thinking, well, tonight, this morning, and we're wondering why a Christian band would call themselves Cain. Yes. And it's because we are murderers. Stop. No. We did not name our band after a murderer. We're the Cain family. It's our last name. And I'm excited. We're going to play you one of our favorite Christmas songs. It's something that we would sing constantly growing up. And um, I'm not going to age myself, but when we would listen to this song, it was on cassette tape. Yes. So much that it broke. And so you can tell your kids that that's not something they can download on an app. Right. It goes in a, a thing. But I've been feeling it a lot this Christmas because the older you get, you just try to recreate the magic. Whenever I was little, I would hear this song and be like, I can't wait to be grown up and have my grown up Christmas list. And now that I'm older, I just wanna be a kid again. So we don't know what's on your Christmas list this year, but here's ours.
my grown-up Christmas list. This is my only lifelong wish. This is our grown-up Christmas Well, Merry Christmas, and we are so glad that you're at our candlelight service this year. And I have some of my favorite people with me. I have my wife, my beautiful wife, Debbie. We have James and Bridget here with us. And I just decided, all by myself, <laughs> this, is scary. this is scary, isn't it? That I would just throw everyone a curveball. Uh, In what? other words, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I am going to say, tell me a Christmas memory. And I'm talking about just the first one that comes to your mind. And I just want to have fun with it. So I'm going to throw the curveball first to Bridget. Oh, okay. <laughs> throw me in the ring first. I love it. I thought you were going to pick James. Um, OK, so the first thing that comes to my mind is when we were first married our first Christmas together, uh, my family has a tradition of all the kids lining up on the stairs, and my dad gets out his big camera recorder and would film us coming down the stairs. So this is the first Christmas that I wasn't gonna do that, and I was a little bit sad. But on our way to my parents' house, my dad called us and said, hey, when you get to the driveway, text us. So I did that, and then we walk in, we walk through the door, and my dad's standing there with his camcorder, like, all set up. So he got us coming through the door. I was kind of filled with emotion. Um, and and then, then he had us go sit on the top of the stairs with the other kids. Now, Bridget's the oldest. Yeah, yeah. And so I'm sitting there with her 10-year-old Ten, yeah, brother. Yeah, my, my youngest On you know, the stairs, sibling, my, my knees brother. up here like this, just <laughs> waiting to, for him to let me go downstairs now. And so We should switch that and have that. them go on the stairs now when yes. they come to our house for Christmas. I like it. <laughs> All right. That was great. Great. All right. So I'm a little afraid to say this, but James, what was the first memory that came to your mind? So the first memory that just popped in my mind was when I was young, we were at your parents' house and doing a big Christmas gathering, and your uncle, well, Uncle Joel. I think I know what you're going to share. We, we all this is like a, a Christmas yes. family story. So this is the it? story that yeah. repeats itself that everyone yeah. talks about. Yeah, you're right. And so uh, I was young, and I still remember the, the feelings of this moment more than <laughs> even all the details. You remember the feelings, and so I was young, and so I'm opening this present. And it was me and Uncle Joel opening a present almost at the same time. Of course, I definitely opened it way faster than him. So I, I definitely was first one to get it open. And I saw this present and I didn't fully understand it because it was this extra large like undershirt. <laughs> and I'm holding it up and it's from your mom. So I just remember saying, Thanks, Grandma. <laughs> and then I look over at Uncle Joel, and he opened up like this great toy or something. I'm like, why does why do I get giant undershirts and he gets a toy? <laughs> and then your yeah, mom said, like, mom. Whoa, wait, wait, you got the wrong ones. Go over. And he switched them, but then I got the toy that I wanted. So yeah. it was great. But initially, I just thought I, I got giant that. extra large undershirts. Yeah. So. yeah, I remember. They were wrapped exactly the same, and somehow she put the wrong got mixed up. names. Yep. And, but I remember the look on your face. That's, that was Thanks. pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> we were taught to be grateful. Yeah. I was. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I let you go f last so you could think about it, and I wouldn't get in trouble later, so don't want to get in trouble on Christmas. So um, well, Christmas my, memory. My favorite Christmas memory is oh. really easy because um, it was December 23rd, and we had gone to youth group. And afterwards, we went over to Billy Foote's house, who actually married us. And, um, but um, you proposed 
in their driveway and because you picked up the ring that day and you could not wait to give it to me. You had planned something else, I think. Yeah. I think that was the plan, but yeah. you couldn't wait. And yeah. so yeah. in their driveway, you proposed. Yeah. <laughs> One point of clarification. You said when we were in youth group. Yes. Were y'all in youth getting married or were y'all leading the youth group? No, no. This is when we were, we were kids. Yeah. We were like... Um, well, at that point, we were... We were in college. Okay. We, we were our okay. first year of college, but and we we'd come there. home, and there was like a youth group gathering. Yeah, yeah. okay. And, That's fun. Yeah. But the bottom you line like was... 16. No. Okay. Just to play <laughs> I, I was going to give it to you on Christmas, and I do remember that I tricked you. You did. Because I said our limit this year is 25. Yes. And so you spent less than $25. $25. And I spent less than 2500 <laughs> but which was a lot at that time it was but i wanted to show you how much i loved you um but you said hey our limit was 25 and i said i never said dollars so That's but true. you're right but i couldn't wait <laughs> you couldn't wait <clears throat> and so that really leads me into what i want to talk about and that is that when we're young we are excited about what we are receiving at christmas you know, the reason the kids were at the top of the stairs is because they were coming down to open the presents. The reason you were looking at the toy, you know. But as you get older, as you said, I was more excited about what I was going to give. And I can remember one of my fondest memories was my father, every Christmas, would have gifts all around his feet when everyone else finished because he was watching what each of us were giving. So I just want to remind you that Christmas is about giving. And the more mature we get in Christ, the more we want to give. So I know you feel that way already, but I just want to ask you, what can you give to Jesus this Christmas? He gave his life. That's what Christmas is all about. But what can you give? Now, I want to say to you, don't go to the law or legalistic thinking. In other words, we think, well, I'm going to have more quiet times this year, or I'm going to lose weight or exercise, or I'm going to not going to get as angry. But all the focus then is on I, 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 I. Here's all Jesus wants. He wants you. And so this morning, when I was praying about talking to you, I gave my life to the Lord again. Now, I didn't get saved again. We get saved once. But every day, every moment of the day, we should give our life to the Lord. And so I just want to ask you, just right now, just would you just close your eyes? Just close your eyes at home, online, in our services, one of our campuses, wherever you are, would you simply just Give your life to the Lord again. For God so loved the world that he gave. Will you just, however you want to, just tell him, Lord, I just give you my life. Lord, we want to tell you thank you for giving us Jesus Christ, your son, and Jesus for giving your life for us. And so we, at this Christmas season, give our lives to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, I'm so happy that you prayed and gave your life to the Lord. And if you need any help, we would love to pray with you or help you any way that we can. So thank you again for coming. And to all of you, from our family to your family, Merry Christmas.
to carry your son. I am waiting in a silent prayer. I am y'all. Hello, hello. I am Jenna Rain, and I am so excited to be back here. Gateway is actually my home church, so woo -woo. really happy to be back. Uh, I just have so many sweet and fond memories here, and I grew up going to students, and this is the church that I fell in love with Jesus, so really sweet to be back, and I have been to every single candlelight service since I was born, so it's just, I guess, a really sweet thing to be here, a sweet, sweet blessing. So I'm very honored to be here and I love my Gateway family. And I am praying y'all have yourselves a merry little Christmas. Have 
yourself a merry little Christmas Let your heart be light From now on our troubles will be out of sight Have yourself a merry little Christmas Make the Yuletide gay From now on our troubles will be miles away Here we are watching olden days Happy golden days of yours Faithful friends who are Gather near to us once more Through the years we all will be together If the fates allow Hang a shining star This, uh, <laughs> that felt so cool, the music was starting and the lights, I was here. Um, this, uh, this next song, I have three kids, and uh, one of the things that I'm the most fascinated with, with the Christmas story, um, is Mary and Joseph, and just kind of how, I think I take for granted the plight of parents in this season with Jesus, and not just raising him, but just having him, and what that would have been like, I can't imagine, but... I think as a parent, um, I think about this a lot when I read the story and it makes it come to life in a very different way. And so uh, I wanted to write a song just sort of about that from their perspective, um, thinking what it might have been like for me if that would have been, you know, my life. Um, and, but I didn't have three uh, Jesuses. I had kids that are very not Jesus. Um, <laughs> and yes, I'm sucking in. I know y'all are judging me right now. Um, but this is... Uh, this is a song I had a lot of fun writing, um, thinking about that. Uh, it's a song called Angel Boy.
the vow you had to keep But the man who hung there dying Was the boy I sang to sleep Someday I'll sing your praises With a heart so full of joy But you'll always be my angel boy Gateway, I had a very cool jacket on in the first service, and I took it off so I could be more expressive in worship tonight with you. <laughs> of all the things the, the prophet Isaiah said he would be, the first thing they said he would be is wonderful. And I don't know where you're at tonight, but we have a God who's not just for us. He's with us, and he's here tonight. Are you thankful for a wonderful counselor in this house tonight? Yes. So you gathered around the table. So much to be thankful for It's Christmas Oh, how I missed it Through the joy and laughter You can feel the sadness Cause this Christmas Everyone's not with us It's the time of year When happiness and cheer Won't be
Truly he taught us to love one another. His law is love and his gospel is peace. Chains shall he break for the slave is our prayer. Thank you for the life that you've given us. Jesus, you were born on this day in a manger, but we celebrate that you are the eternal King who lives forever and ever and ever. Lord, we declare that you are holy and you're worthy of all of our praise. We love you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I just want to say thank you for coming to our service. We have uh, I want to invite our prayer team to come down. We have prayer team pastors down here who would love to pray with you if you have any prayer needs. I want to remind you that we have our first conference coming up in two weekends, January 6th through 10th. Come out, as Pastor Robert said, come out and be a part of that. As well as we have a devotional called No Love Like This. You can pick up a copy in the bookstore, but they are for free on gatewaydevotions.com. Or you also can go to the, uh, the uh, YouVersion app for the devotional. It's both in English and in Spanish. Looking forward to seeing you. Lord, we love you. We praise you. We thank you for this season. We celebrate you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Merry Christmas to you. God bless you. Have a wonderful Christmas.